Okay, so this is the situation today. Uh, rock fishing is supposed to open in a couple of weeks and it's been raining on and off so really nothing to do outside so the plane at home continues and uh, for this year I uh, decided to dedicate a rod for descending the fish that suffer for bar trauma um, it's when you go rock fishing you really should bring a separate rod uh, with a shotgun device or any kind of a device that uh, some people make their own um, just to have it ready immediately to descend the shorties and uh, here in Southern California we are fishing in very deep water so most of the stuff that we do get up to the surface you know they either need to be descended or they're too short or uh, now with the new limits um, your some species you're only allowed to keep uh, one rockfish from uh, certain species so having a descending device uh, helps a lot uh, so you don't have to you know give extra uh, harm to the fish so until now I've been using the the Shelton device that uh, you can obtain either from your fishing store or online and basically what you do is you tie one end to the to the main line and then the sinker on the bottom and you stab them through the bottom lip and you descend them but sometimes I'm having problems with this because by the time I release the bail and drop the the weight uh, the fish is already floating around and coming out of this so I decided to make something different and I'm gonna try to do the I mean I can always go back to the regular Shelton device but decided to make one of the fish grips descending devices and I am dedicating a rod for for this season it's a uh, basically the it's a two-piece rod and you sacrifice the bottom and you just uh, dedicate it for the fish descending I did put a front leader on the front just so it looks nicer and I did put some heavy line some heavy braid because I have like a big spool of 65 for my other reels so I ended up putting a 65 uh, braid on it I have about I would say 250 feet and starting from the beginning I did mark it so you can either get floss or from the paracord the strings the inside of the paracord so I tied them uh, one of the last 50 and then I tied it at I basically marked it at a hundred uh, hundred hundred and fifty and two hundred feet by tying just to basically a uni knot to some of the braid so in different colors so when this thing comes out I kind of know exactly how many feet are out and I have a swivel to a swivel uh, this part doesn't need to be really long because I can't have this going through the leaders and you basically basically use the Palomar nuts for all all the, all the attachments I Palomar not this part I Palomar not the bottom uh, on the bottom part uh, I kind of left it a little longer and I'll tell you why in a second um, so I have a again Palomar not at the end to a angler's clip and I'm using a 16 ounce sinker which seems to be working okay for what I am catching if I need to I can always attach another uh, 12 ounce to this if I catch something bigger 
so there shouldn't be a problem with that and basically the way it works is just like any other fish grips uh, you grip you lift the fish on the bottom lip and release your spool and drop the weight and descend them to the desired weight let me desired uh, depth that you cut them uh, most of them uh, they do get revived uh, at around 100 feet uh, i'm fishing usually at 250 to 350 feet so i intend to descend them a little uh, deeper than 100 feet so but yeah again i, I have like 200 and 250 feet of line on this so if i'm fishing 300 300 plus feet i'll just go ahead and descend them all the way uh, as much as uh, line i have on the on the reel and um, once you close your bail the way uh, this little thing works uh, my my regular bigger fish grips for some reason they do release um, much easier and I know a lot of people put a rubber band on this so if your fish grips are not as tight um, you can uh, you can just use a, a large rubber band and, and tie it uh, and just wrap it around the handle and um, but mine seem to be pretty new and pretty strong so I'm not gonna use the rubber band in the beginning and I did let a little bit more line on the bottom for, for where the sinker is so I would say it's like probably a little bit three feet or a little bit over so when I close the bale and the fish is descended and ready to be released I usually would just lift my rod a little bit so the sinker goes up and then pull and that works best for at least the fish grips that I have so yeah here it is again so because if I if it's all the way on the bottom and I yank it sometimes it doesn't open but if I do let it if I do lift my rod up and then before the sinker starts going down just pull it again it opens that up from the first time and hopefully that fish survives to grow bigger and for somebody else to catch it so yeah if you're not happy with the new regulations and you should get familiar because there's quite a few of them for 2023 you should start doing your part and uh, releasing uh, fish the right way so they prosper and uh, we don't have any more hiccups in the years from now and I did get one of these because there's just so many species and when you catch them uh, I do have problems recognizing some of them so hopefully this helps and you can also mark um, as like this year as 2023 you can only keep one copper and uh, four vermilion uh, which is the same as last year and only one quill back so yeah hopefully this helps somebody and uh, those shotgun devices I'll try to link uh, on the bottom you can get them actually for free and uh, they are a pretty good option you should at least, uh, at least have this ready to go on your kayak or boat ready to design to descend the fish but the fish grips seem like a better idea so hopefully they work if there's any questions let me know later bye